Thank you very much. Even after the not guilty verdict was read, race remains at the forefront of the George Zimmerman trial in Florida. But should race have even been brought into the case to begin with? Joining me now is Flo former Florida Congressman and Fox News contributor, now Colonel Alan West. Good morning to you, Colonel. Good morning, Gretchen. How are you? I'm doing great. You know Florida better than anyone. You live in Florida. What did you make of the case and how the discussion now will continue with regard to race? Well, I think one of the things that we saw was the interjection of race into this case, especially by the, the race baiters, probably caused the uh, prosecution to go down the path of a charge that was going to be a little bit harder as far as the stipulations and the conditions they'd have to achieve to be able to reach that conviction. If we had just maybe let the justice system take his due course, uh, you probably would have had a different outcome. But once again, you see a media and you see many people out there that are stoking the fires of uh, quote unquote race because they really are concerned about keeping that at the forefront to keep this country divided because of a collective mindset. But then also you have those that need to have these type of issues there to keep them in some type of media limelight as well. The NAACP is calling for criminal charges now or the Department of Justice to investigate. Here's their quote. We call immediately for the Justice Department to conduct an investigation to the civil rights violations committed against Trayvon Martin. This case has re-energized the movement to end racial profiling in the United States. Let me pose two separate scenarios to you, Colonel. Some people have said that over the weekend, 10 African-American teens died in the city of Chicago alone, but nobody's mm -hmm. talking about that. And number two, the idea that had George Zimmerman been African-American as well, nobody would have ever even heard about this case. Can you comment on that? Well, sure. First of all, the NAACP, you know, where are they talking about the black-on-black -black crime that we see rampant throughout Chicago and many of the other inner cities? But then also, where was the NAACP when we had the new Black Panther case uh, going back to the 2008 election? They did not advocate for the Department of Justice to get involved there. Now, Gretchen, I'll bring up a uh, couple of other very heinous murder cases. Uh, I went to the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, Tennessee. There was a case of a white couple that was brutally and savagely kill, uh, you never heard anything about that. And then earlier this year, we had two black teenagers who shot a white infant in the face with a 22 caliber pistol. And we still have not heard anything from the NAACP or from the media uh, on that case as well. So I think there's a little bit of cherry picking here for the sake of political purposes, and we need to get away from that. All right. I appreciate your comments on